Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a smooth and dynamic line map animation in CapCut. This effect is widely used by creators in their documentaries, travel vlogs and explainer videos to showcase journeys, routes or connections between the different locations. It's an eye-catching technique that adds a professional touch to your projects. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First go ahead and open CapCut. To begin, you'll need to import a map image. You can easily find a variety of maps online through quick search on Google, or you can explore dedicated websites that offer high quality maps. One of my personal recommendations is FreePick, a fantastic resource that's completely free and very useful for creators. Once you've downloaded your desired map, simply import it into CapCut by clicking the import button in the media section. Drag the map onto your timeline and ensure it fits your canvas size perfectly. So next, we'll be creating the line for the route. CapCut offers a unique way to do this through the text tool. Head over to the text panel and create a new text layer by clicking on the text button. Now, instead of typing words, you'll want to create a sequence of dashes. This will act as the line that will animate later. You can make the dash line as long as you need depending on the distance you want to cover on your map. While this is technically a text layer, we're going to make it look like a solid line by modifying the font style. I recommend selecting a bold font so the dashes appear thicker, giving the illusion of a bold, clear line. The choice of color is important here select a color that stands out against your map. For this tutorial, I'll be using yellow as it contrasts well with most map designs and ensures visibility. Feel free to experiment with colors that best suit your project. After setting the color, we'll add some finishing touches. To give the line more depth and visibility, especially on complex maps, we'll add a slight stroke and glow effect. Go to the effect panel and, and find the stroke settings. Set the stroke color to something that complements your main line color, for example, a darker shade of your chosen color, and make the stroke width subtle yet visible. Next, apply glow effect to make the line pop even more, especially in darker areas of the map. Feel free to copy my exact settings or tweak them to suit your needs. Now that the line is styled, it's time to place it on your map. For this example, let's say I want the animation to show a journey from Brazil to Russia. We need to rotate, scale, and position the text layer so the dash line aligns with the path of this journey. You can do this by selecting the text layer and using the transform controls. Rotate the line to follow the generation of the route and scale if necessary to ensure it covers the distance. Now comes the exciting part, animating the line. CapCut makes this simple with its built-in text animation tools. Select your dashed line text layer and head over to the text animation panel. Under the in animations, look for the type to animation. This creates a typing effect where the dashes will appear one by one, simulating the line being drawn across the map. By default, this animation might be too fast, but don't worry you can adjust the speed. Drag the duration slider to make the animation slower or synchronize it perfectly with your background music or voiceover. At this point, your basic line map animation is complete. But if you want to take it a step further, you can always add some extra enhancements. For example, consider applying motion blur to make the animation smoother or adding small markers or icons at the start and end points to emphasize locations. You could even add sound effects to enhance the viewer's experience like a subtle who shopping when the line reaches its destination. And that's it. You've just created a professional looking line map animation in CapCut. This technique is versatile and can be customized in countless ways to fit your video style, whether you're making travel content, educational videos, or even a narrative documentary. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.